What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie and today I'm going to be talking about the next set of books for Sleep When I'm Dead. If you didn't know, I do have an online book club. It's called Sleep When I'm Dead. It is literally one of my favorite things I do here on YouTube. Each month me and another creator will pick a book where it is a more newish thriller. We will actually host our live show at the end of the month where we will go live and talk about the books, answer your questions, and those questions you can actually submit them on Discord. At the beginning of the year I actually started a whole Discord and it's been literally one of the coolest things I've ever done. Over there that's where you can interact with other people who are in the book club. You can read each book by chapter breakdown there's a whole section to put like your final thoughts and also you can submit your questions as well it's truly a blast and I hope you guys will join our discord or at least join the live show at the end of every month all right let's get into the book club pick for the month of July I will have Gwen from Gwendolyn Kinsinger you know aka one of my besties and I am so excited because when I asked her if she wanted to do another round she said yes but only if I get a certain month. I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, I already know what book I want to do. And she's like, I want July. I was like, okay, done. And I'm so excited. This is probably going to be like one of my most anticipated thrillers of the year. So Gwen has decided to pick The Only One Left by Riley Sager, which I'm so and excited about this. So this book actually comes out June 20th so you can go ahead and like pre-order it or you know do whatever you need to do but the live show will be here on my channel on July 31st at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where we will discuss this book in more detail, go over some questions and things like that. So the book synopsis says at 17 Lenore Hope hung her sister with a rope now reduced to a courtyard chant the Hope family murders shocked the main coast one bloody night in 1929. While most people assume 17-year-old Lenore was responsible, the police were never able to prove it. Other than her denial after killing after the killings, she has never spoken publicly about that night, nor has she set foot outside of Hope's Inn, the cliffside mansion where the massacre occurred. Now it's 1983 and the home health aide, Kit McDear, arrives at a decaying Hope's Inn to care for Lenore after her previous nurse fled in the middle of the night. In her 70s and confined to a wheelchair, Lenore was rendered mute by a series of strokes and can only communicate with Kit by tapping out sentences on an old typewriter. One night, Lenore uses it to make a tantalizing offer. I want to tell you everything. It wasn't me, Lenore said, but she's the only one not dead. As Kit helps Lenore write about the events leading to the Hope Family Massacre, it becomes clear that there's more to the tale than people know. I'm super excited. It's definitely giving me like all the cool, creepy feels. I, I'm very excited. It's also said in the 80s, which is really interesting. Again, the live show will be on the 31st, the last Monday of July, so make sure you join us then. All right, moving on to August. This one will actually be August 21st, which is a Monday, just because I do have something going on the last week of August, so we are moving it up a little bit in the month of August. But I'm very excited to have Rachel from Happy Go Lovely Sleeves or Happy Go Lovely Reads on YouTube, and I'm so excited she just seems like such a sweet and genuine person so I'm very excited to have her on my channel and discussing a book and man she picked some really good ones it was hard to narrow it down we were in between one and two but we decided to go with this one just so it gives you guys a little bit more time to pick up the book and obviously read it so the book that we will be reading is a twisted love story by Samantha Downing which is one of my auto buy authors this book is set to publish on July 18th so literally a month right before the uh, live show so make sure you guys pre-order get your hands on it however you need to do it I already had this on my want to read shelf on Goodreads but after we after she sent this one to me and I reread the synopsis it's like I really want to read this one it says Wes and Ivy are badly in love they never felt anything like it it's the kind of romance people write about but what kind of story because when it's good it's great flowers green gestures deep meaningful conversations where the whole world disappears when it's bad it's really bad vengeful fights, damaged property, arrest warrants, but their vicious cycle of catastrophic breakups and head over heel reconnections needs to end fast because suddenly Wes and Ivy have a common enemy and she's a detective. There's something about Wes and Ivy never talk about in good times or bad. 
the night of their worst breakup when one of them took things too far and someone ended up dead. If they stick together, they can survive anything, even the tightening net of a police investigation, but one more breakup might just be their last. So I think this sounds really good, really messy, but like in the best positive way. So very much excited for that. Again, the live show will be here on my channel Monday, August 21st at 8 p.m. Eastern with Rachel. And again, I will have all the details of all the live shows in Discord as well, so you can check that out and have like all the chapter breakdowns and everything like that. So you're probably wondering, hmm, what is September? Because I usually release every book club information like quarterly. So I don't have anything to share for September, but I will let you know there are going to be more details to come and just note it's not going to be a book discussion. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be one hell of a good time. So yeah, make sure you subscribe because I will be announcing September's surprise very soon and yeah. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. It does really support my channel and also lets you know when I post a new one in the future. And if you've made it this far, go ahead and put the ghost emoji for, you know, obviously the iconic sleep when I'm dead ghost. So make sure you go ahead and leave that emoji down in the comments and let me know which book you're most excited about out of the two. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost. We stand on the opposite shore.